Hey guys, Robin here and Goldfish, and today we're gonna show you a really cool new way that you can use these dots in boxes to do something functional. Addition. So what we're gonna be showing you, other than that they can do addition, is that it doesn't matter what base you're in, the rule for addition is always the same. So let's get started. Let's get to it. Addition in any base machine. These two base machines could be any base. It doesn't really matter so long as they are the same base. Adding them is easy. Just combine the dots by color. Then use the rule on any boxes that have too many dots. Okay, let's start another example. Our base two example, 14 and 5. The first step is working them to the left. Because it is base 2, we are using the rule 2 goes to 1. Let's get started. All done. Now let's do the 5. Okay, so the secret code in base 2 for 14 is 1110. The secret code for five in base two is one zero one. Now, this is the one column, this is the two column, this is the fourth column, and this is the eighth column. So, let's add up each individual column. Here we have a zero and a one. So we add those up, get a one. Here we have a one and a zero. We add those up, get a one. Here we have a one and a one. We add those up, get a two. We have a one and a zero, we add those up to get a one. Now we do some working to the left again, like that, and like that. And there we have our answer. 14 plus, 14 plus five is one, zero, zero, one, one. And that is a 16 plus a two plus a one, which is 19, and 14 plus five is 19. So here we have a 14 and a five, just like our example in base two. Now, since we're working in base three, we're gonna be using the rule where three on the right goes to one on the left. So let's start working these dots to the left. All right, so now we're gonna be working with the five. Okay, so the base three code for 14 is one, one, two. And the base three code for five is one, two. Now we're gonna add them. So we're gonna be combining my columns. All the dots in the one boxes go to this box. All of the dots in the threes column goes to this box. And all of the dots in the nines column goes to this box. And now we're gonna work some things to the left again, using the rule. Three on the right go to one on the left. And now we can do it again. All right, now we have our insult. 14 plus five equals two, zero, one. We have two nines, zero threes, and a one. That adds up to 19. Okay, so let's do the last base 10 example. So we have 749. 264. Now, we combine the columns. Combine the columns, do the rule. So let's combine the columns. We'll start with the ones column. And then put all the dots, combine them into the bottom. Now, let's do the tens column. Combine them all into the bottom. Let's do the hundreds column. And combine them all into the bottom. Now we use the rule. Okay, so we're in base 10, so we use the rule 10 goes to 1. So 
So we get one, zero, one, three. 749 plus 264 is 1013. Okay, I'm going to show you how the standard addition process is the same as the dozen boxes method. So, let's start on the right column. We have a 6 and a 5. We add that up and we get an 11. We get, we add those up and we get an 11. But we're not going to write that. We're going to take one of them, keep it here, and carry the other one over to here. Okay, let's work over here. We have a 6 and a 5. That adds up to 11, so we have to do 11 dots. There! 11 dots. So, but let's, instead of waiting until the end to do, use the rule, let's do it now. So we're going to get rid of 10 of these and replace them with 1 on the loop. So, there. Okay, now let's go back on to this side. We have a 1 and a 9 and a 0. We add that up, we get a 10. But we're not going to write that either. We're going to write a 0 and then a 1 up here. Now on this side, we have nine dots and a zero. So we'll bring nine dots down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, we have nine dots and one more, so ten. But we're not gonna write that because it's a ten to one rule, so we can get rid of all of that, and it becomes a one over here. Okay, let's go back here. We have a, on the last column, we have a 1, a 3, and a 1. That adds up to 5. Over here, we have a 3 and a 1, so 4 dots. Let's add 4 dots to our already 1. Okay, 5 dots, so 5, 0, 1. 501, 501. We got the same answer. So these are actually the same process. Music from this video comes from Ben Sound. We're going to be adding a 5 and a 3. As you can see, it's a 4 and a 1, so this is a 5 and this is a 2 and a 1, so it's a 3. Now what we're going to be doing is adding them. So what you do is all the ones go to this little saucer, all of the 2's go to this box. Um, sorry, your bunny just nudged me. <laughs> and all the fours go to this box. And now we can use our rule. Two on the right, go to one on the left. And hey look, we can do it again. And one more time. And now, here we have our answer. One, zero, zero, zero. That's the code for eight. Five plus three equals eight.